Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have two brand new rumors to go over talking about next year's 25th anniversary for Pokemon. It's a big one. We're not sure what to expect, but I'm sure they're going to do a fantastic job. Now, of course, these are just rumors at the end of the day, so take them with a grain of salt. We don't know if they're true or not, but if you are excited for the video, please do drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Make sure to drop a comment as well. What would you love to see happen next year for Pokemon's 25th anniversary? And subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. With all of that out of the way, though, Let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, the first rumor that we're going to be going over today was posted on the 25th of October, and it's titled Pokemon 2021 by Anonymous. Uh, so, I don't know what this picture is supposed to be. I don't know if that's a, of a cartoon or something, but it says you had a good childhood. You understand this? Apparently, they have a good childhood. Uh, anyway, it says, hello, guys. I will be telling you all what to expect from Pokemon 2021. This isn't a my uncle works at Nintendo leak, but in all seriousness, my girlfriend works on a marketing team for Creatures Inc. I know many of you will doubt my validity, but I want to see how you all react when most of this post is confirmed true. I say most because three things I will post are lies. I think that will add to the speculation. Thanks for taking time out of my day to have your day to read this. So, these are the things that he's posted. So, there's quite a few bullet points, and three of them are apparently lies, whereas the rest of it is apparently true. Um, that's interesting. I haven't really got over a rumor where they've been like, yeah, some of this is false, some of it's true. Um, I, from first impression, I feel like they've only just said that because if they do get something wrong, they can be like, that was a, that was a lie. And instead, it was just obviously false the whole time. But, you know, okay, I'll bite, I'll bite. We'll play the game. Let's see what he says. It says, 2021 will be marketed as the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. I mean, I could have told you that, and I don't have a girlfriend that works at Game Freak, but instead of mythical like the 20th anniversary promoted, the, mar uh, the marketing will be centered around the starter Pokemon. Um, so, you know, already there is a little bit of truth to that. We do obviously have the McDonald's thing uh, that is going to be happening in 2021. If you aren't familiar with what I'm on about, we basically got a, a Chimchar card. Uh, someone opened a pack of Pokemon cards and they got this 25th anniversary Chimchar card within it um, by accident, uh, which was obviously the 25th anniversary special edition, which uh, I think the set was like 27 Pokemon or something like that. But basically, there's uh, basically going to be a card for every single star Pokemon, including Pikachu, I think. Um, so, yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff. But, but that's obviously to do with McDonald's, I, I'm pretty sure anyway. It says, uh, there will be a presentation a few days before Pokemon Day, but I don't know what specifically it will entail. Uh, there will be one on Pokemon Day. Wait, there will be a... Oh, so there's going to be a presentation a few days before Pokemon Day, and there's going to be one on Pokemon Day. Bro, these are the rumors that just, like, I find it hard to believe, man. How are you going to know all this information? Um, but, but you know there's going to be a presentation, but you don't know what's going to be on it. I don't know, like... Admit, like especially if your girlfriend's on the marketing team because she should obviously be trying to market this so she would know what she's going to market but either way let's carry on it says first up everything has been delayed because of the virus i don't know to what extent uh detective pikachu 2 is still in the alpha stages yes we are actually getting a detective pikachu 2 i think it was announced in 2019 at like this pokemon uh, event thing uh, which was also announced with i think pokemon sleep um, but yeah, we have literally had no information about Detective Pikachu 2 or Pokemon Sleep since that presentation. So, no idea what's going on with it. But yes, Detective Pikachu 2 is apparently in the works, unless they've just scrapped it. But it says they know that they can make uh, market the hell out of this, so they want to do it right. Uh, Detective Pikachu 2, okay, interesting. And then it says Pokemon Snap 2 is directly affected by the delay. They want to graphically appeal to the audience. It is easier for them to focus on graphics when it's not a main series uh, game. To be fair, from what I've seen of Pokemon um, Snap 2, the graphics do look really, really good. Of course, we don't know how many Pokemon are going to be in uh, Pokemon Snap 2. We just know that every single generation, well, Pokemon from every single generation are going to be in Pokemon Snap 2 because obviously we've seen it from like the trailer and the footage and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, hopefully there's a reasonable amount of Pokemon. I don't think it'd be a... Uh, 
uh, a whole you know Pokemon um, variety in, in in the game because it's just a, a small like side game but still hopefully we get a few um, so I still don't know what the lies are maybe it's all lies but uh, I don't know what this person would make out the lies to be but anyway it says I'm going to progressively get bigger with these announcements a Pokemon collection will be coming out soon because Game Freak is trying to get some dollar 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 uh, two versions with the first versions of those sets of games in one with the second ones in the well second. Hang about that's that may as well be in a different language. I don't understand that at all. Two versions with the first version of those sets of games in one with the second ones in the well second. I really don't understand what they're saying there. Does that mean that we're gonna get like Does it mean by a set as in like Oh, I think I get what it means. So it means like uh, for, for the first set it would be the two versions of Kanto being like red and blue and then in the second ones in the it'd be the second set of games. It'd be like gold and silver. It says two versions of the first version. I have no idea what that means. I don't know. Maybe you guys know what that means in the comment section. That I can't even process that. I have no idea. But then it says mainly gen uh, four to five games. Why gen four five? Surely they'd be doing a remake of Gen 4. Uh, bro, imagine the backlash if they just did a um, if they just did a port of Generation 4 on the Switch. Bro, that would get a hell of backlash because Down and Pearl Remix is something like so many people want. Imagine if they just put Down and Pearl onto the Switch. Like, that would cause anarchy, man. That would be crazy. It says you can transfer to later games in the collections and to current games, but there are heavy restrictions to prevent rare Pokemon farming. Uh, this is a priority 2021 release. Um, so this rumor, I don't know whether to believe it or not. It goes into detail about Detective Pikachu 2, which, again, we know nothing about. So they could really say anything they want to about that. Pokemon Snap 2, again, we don't really know much about that. All we've done is seen some gameplay. We have no release date or anything like that for it. Um, it's obviously going to come out next year unless they just randomly throw it in at, like, Christmas or something. And then it just goes to talk about this Master Collection, which, again, is just a massive rumor right now. We don't actually know if it is true or not. So... I don't know, like, what to think of this rumor. I don't think it's true. I mean, I, I mean, he says three of these are lies as well, so I, I don't know. I think, I think it's all lies. To be fair, mate, I think I don't think you actually do have a girlfriend that works on the marketing team of Creatures Inc. I think you're lying. I think you're absolutely lying. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about this rumor. We'll move on to the uh, to the second one now. So this rumor is not as big as the other one, but it basically says 25th anniversary lineup. It was posted by Anonymous on the 26th of October, so a day after the last one was posted. It says next year is gonna be big for Pokemon. It is gonna be big for Pokemon. It's the 25th anniversary. Personally, I think it's gonna be bigger than the 25th uh, than the 20th anniversary because it's like halfway to 50 years, like the silver anniversary, all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm expecting something big from Pokemon next year. Anyway, it says February, which is obviously when Pokemon Day is, when the anniversary, I think it's the 20. 27th? I don't actually know. I'm sure it'll say somewhere on this, but it says February. X and Y, Auras, Sun and Moon, and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon will be ported on the Switch. eShop download only. Things like the Rotom decks have been worked in to fit the Switch's one screen. $40 for each game. Now, okay. I'm going to say something right now which kind of gives this a little bit of truth. So basically, I didn't do any videos on it, but the whole like Gen 8 beta leaks came out and a lot of those leaks did have um the rotom decks on them now i don't know if that's because they were using assets from um generation 7 or 4 generation 8 but they did have the rotom decks all just on one screen and everything like that um so it is possible they've actually done it you know they did it in the beta so um yeah that isn't like crazy to believe that um that wouldn't work it it, it would work because they've done it Anyway, it says summer, new Pokemon Snap release, okay? Uh, would make sense. I mean, it, it's going to be a big year, so if they release something in February, like I say, this this like small master collection, and then in summer, they uh, release Pokemon Snap, and then I'm guessing they're releasing something in November as well, which is what this rumor is about to go on to talk to us about. But uh, yeah, that would just be constant Pokemon stuff to look forward to. No mention about Detective Pikachu 2, though, which is interesting. It says November, sharpened diamond and blinding pearl. Really? They're the names? I mean, there's so many better names than that. Blinding Pearl, by the way. Uh, it says, Diamond and Pearl remakes in uh, brackets. It says, they will include Megas as the feature, and Dialga and Palkia will gain new forms. Pokemon will follow you, works like Let's Go, 
and things like contests with online play ability that'd be really cool bro on like i never did the contests really when i used to play through the pokemon games as a kid but doing it online i think it'd actually be sick like the competition would actually be really really cool um, which I would definitely be uh, on board with. But uh, yeah, I can also see Pokemon following you returning anyway. All of the animations and the assets for following Pokemon has already been done for pretty much like, what, 600 of Pokemon, thanks to Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra. So yeah, there's only a few more they'd have to do. And that is if every single Pokemon makes it into the next Pokemon game, whether that is Diamond and Pearl remakes or whatever. I think following Pokemon will just be back regardless. They didn't do a great job of it, I'm not going to lie. As much as I don't want to slate Nintendo, they didn't do a great job. Like, some of the walking animations are just so slow and they just don't make sense some of them are good they are really really good some of them have a lot of personality and stuff but yeah i feel like some of them were definitely just rushed um but yeah they definitely could have been better and also riding pokemon needs to be back like in let's go we could ride charizard onyx snorlax you know machamp or haunter anything like that like they they need to be back they, they were really really cool anyway it goes on to say uh and the underground return which is obviously big big feature about diamond and pearl this is the battle frontier is not back but the battle tower villa and restaurant to rebattle gym leaders and characters from other games are back. The full Dex is back once you get to the post game. And yes, as you all guessed, there is a Delta style episode with Giratina and Arceus. Wouldn't be a down and pill rumor unless they included that Delta style episode with Giratina and Arceus, where Giratina gets a mega evolution, then you catch Arceus at the end. Just like Rayquaza got a mega evolution in the Delta episode, and you catch the Arceus at the end. I mean, literally every single down and pill remake rumor, and this bad boy's in there. It says other mythicals will have the events throughout the year. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the rumor. I mean, I would love that to happen. Like, that's a really, really cool idea. Uh, getting some stuff in February, um, getting some stuff in summer, getting then obviously Down and Pearl remix in November. That would, for me, be a good 20th anniversary of Pokemon. I think they would have knocked it out of the park if this becomes true. But alas, it is just a rumor. We don't know if it's true or not. But that is going to be everything for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Again, let's try and hit 500 likes. It really, really does help out. Make sure to drop a comment. What would you like to see next year for the 25th anniversary? Personally, I would love to see a Master Collection. Uh, we know Pokemon Snap 2 is coming out next year anyway. Well, I mean, we don't, but it, it, it pretty much is confirmed. And then obviously, Diamond and Pearl remakes as well. Like, pretty much everything on this list I would like to happen next year. Uh, and then subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily videos and streaming for Pokemon on this channel. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.